Hello everyone, welcome to Bag Skins. In this short video, we're going to go over the install for the Mark 7 and 75 Golf Model 4 door paint protection kit for the roof racks. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a mock setup of your roof rails. And then, what I did here is that I'm going to put these markings with masking tape where you have kind of like equal distancing between the edge of the base to the tape line. So it kind of will help you later as a guideline for when you install the protection film on top. So once you've done that, then we're just going to remove the racks and then we're going to prep the surface and install the kit. So once you have the roof rails removed and you prep the surface by cleaning it and using the alcohol and microfiber cloth, wiping it down, making sure that it's dry and free of debris and dirt, you can go ahead and do the install of the kit. So essentially your kit's going to look like this one for the right side, one for the left side. The top square pieces that's gonna go here are pretty well the same for all four corners. And then obviously the only difference is between the left and right. These are very specific based on because of the whole alignments that you have. So for the top piece is pretty basic. You gotta just remove the vinyl or the protective film. Uh, we're using black right here just so you can have a contrast to actually see what this looks like but obviously when you order the kit it'll be a clear vinyl which is a temporary kit that we'll have where it's kind of disposable or you can order the PPF kit which is going to be permanent if you're going to install it. So for this one all you have to do is make sure your hands are clean. You're going to line up the back edge to the inner part of the roof rail here and you're just gonna because of the masking tape that you put down it kind of offers you a guideline of the spacing that you'll need between the two areas so that you even be spaced once you're comfortable you just tack down the vinyl and what you're gonna do is that you're gonna come down the middle and you're gonna bring it down like this and then you're gonna work your way across from the back towards the, the forward towards you so you're just gonna Work your way on the top edge and just squeegee it down like this. And that's essentially it. And you're gonna repeat this process on the back. As we come over here, you'll see. So the only little difference with the back top piece is that you're gonna follow this roof line here where it just kinda lines up just before where it hits that kind of like valley right there and you could go through the same process I'm gonna bring it down down through the center and I'm gonna work that final end from the back ridge out towards you in a squeegee motion with your finger to make sure that you keep any air bubbles out. Keep in mind this is a dry install. You can do a wet one, but this is because it's such a small air space, it's pretty easy with a with a dry install. And essentially this is it for the top. We'll move on to the bottom piece in a second. Okay, so now for the back piece here on the bottom, you're gonna take this piece here. And you're gonna line up these pre-cut holes to the existing dimples that you have. And you're gonna have this edge kind of match this door, door jam line as you do it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty well, you can't really mess up because as you can see, you just line it up. And then what you do is just squeegee it towards the body line you're gonna go up down the middle and then squeegee and work your way out on the body like so now this takes care of the back piece here we'll move on to the front okay so here we are for the last piece on the front as you can see right here this is what it looks like and you peel it off and the same thing as the back, 
The only difference is that you gotta have this hole for the guide pin as part of the roof rack bracket. So you gotta line this up to the holes. Best you can. Well, let me see here. Pretty happy there. And then I'm just start squeezing it down. Once I get to over the ridge here, I can go tack it down right down the middle and I'm gonna squeegee it out from bottom to top, like so. And here, now this is the final install for the paint protection kit. As I mentioned before, the vinyl is in black just so that you can see the contrast, but the kit actually comes with clear pieces. So here you are. We'll show you what the coverage looks like when we put the roof rails back on. So here we just reinstalled the rails and you can see the coverage that this kit offers for both the front and the back. It's pretty simple. It just gives you that added insurance of not scratching your paint, etc. Like I said uh, before, this is just a black vinyl just to show you the coverage that it, of what it does but it will come in two different kits. You have a permanent PPF kit, which is gonna be a thicker protective layer. And then we're gonna have a thinner, clear vinyl, which is kind of like a temporary solution if you don't wanna run your rails all the time. So here you are, there, here's a final shot with the caps on. As you can see, it hides it pretty good, even with the black vinyl that we use. And also you can see another product that we're offering, which is gonna be like an end cap overlay. So it adds a, like, a nice little touch to it. But all in all, I think this is a great little kit for anyone that uses roof rails. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.